bring in some analysts to talk about this, guys, as we look at Nike shares down about 3% on that big headline miss. Simeon Siegel is the managing director and senior analyst at BMO Capital Markets. And Liz Dunn is founder and CEO of Proforma. Thanks. Simeon, we were all curious to see what your hairstyle was. Didn't disappoint. Um, talk to me about these numbers. Obviously a big earnings miss, but it, it would appear to me that a lot of it does have to do with the fact that they couldn't ship have those shipments going to wholesalers and they had just so many stores closed in the quarter. What's your take? I think you're exactly right. I, listen, Sarah, no one, no one's buying Nike for this quarter. Frankly, most people aren't buying any of these retail stocks for this quarter. The question is, what does this quarter tell us about the future, if anything? And then ultimately, how do you believe that arc of recovery is going to look? That's what's so interesting here. And you brought up China. China is going to be the point everyone's going to look towards because North America might be absolutely critical, but it's so early. We just don't know what it looks like. So I think I very much agree with what your, your point is. I get the stock is down, the stock has rallied forward. But at the end of the day, the question is going to be, what do they say on the call to make people feel comfortable that the China return can resemble the rest of the world? Liz Dunn, I also mentioned the digital sales increasing 75 percent, 79 percent currency, currency yeah. neutral. Talk to us about, about that number. It obviously appears very strong. What were the expectations around that? What does that tell us about how much of their business is actually being done right now online? Yeah, I mean, it's a great number in the absolute. I think the uh, the last commentary that we had from the company suggested it had been maybe a little bit stronger than that in the first few days of the COVID uh, crisis hitting the United States. But, you know, that was early days. I think 75 percent is a great number. And really what it says to me is that it's advancing their consumer direct strategy. They've, they've kind of taken a, a huge leap forward, which will position them well for the future. And I think that to Simeon's point, the China rebound is really important, and it's a blueprint for what we can hopefully expect uh, in other regions as things start to open up. Simeon, should this, uh, this year of challenges uh, long-term work in Nike's favor, should they take market share through this period, given their, their relative strength? Absolutely. Listen, I think we've been talking to investors and companies. The first thing everyone had to do was make sure they would survive. Once you tap the liquidity, once you draw down what you need to draw down, there are certain companies that are well capitalized enough to go on the offensive, right? To actually not pull back marketing, even though it's so easy. And to Liz's point and Sarah's point, this idea of focusing on direct, focusing on DTC and owning your message, right? Reducing the wholesale exposure that they've done the last several years is proving very prescient right now. So I think right now, if you're Nike, you focus on how do you tactfully take advantage, right? Not exploit. How do you capitalize on this situation, deploy those marketing dollars, grab more mind share? And even if revenues are down today, you know you're going to build them in the future. And I think that dislocation, that's going to be key, and it's going to play into their strengths. I yeah, just wonder, I Liz, you know, these numbers from... I was, go ahead, but I also just wanted to bring up a broader retail point, which is, you know, we're seeing 40, 50 percent declines on revenues for Nike, which is not surprising, given what they said, that, you know, over 90 percent of their stores were closed during the quarter. Does all of retail need to be re-rated and, and, and sort of rethought out on these numbers, if they're best in class and everything that you guys are saying, all these glowing remarks about Nike's brand and its sustainability is true, I mean, what is the earnings season going to look like for the rest of retail this quarter? It's going to be a tough earnings season. There's no, no way around it. I think that the categories that are suffering most are apparel and footwear. So, you know, you're thinking about what people need when they're staying at home. Um, it, it's not necessarily to dress up or to have a, a, a new outfit. So these are going to be the toughest categories. But I do uh, agree with Simeon's point that they've positioned themselves well for the future. And I would even add that they've uh, that the brand has gained some momentum in this quarter, not just because they've executed well on digital, but also they've come out with a very strong message on uh, on social justice, which I think is really important for their customer. And I know a lot of companies did it, but Nike did it first and they did it loudest. And I think their customer noticed. Simeon and Liz, uh, thank you uh, both for joining us. Uh, Nike shares, you could say, only down 2 or 3% given the scale of this quarterly miss. But uh, uh, as our guest was saying, uh, people buy the stock for, for the years ahead, not just uh, this quarter. Coming